In this video, we're going to create stylized video from our source. So we'll take it to this basic animation and we're going to create stylizations. And for this, we're going to use it base there as a base to conversions. And we're going to also use the from Kaji. Okay, let me scroll up, Comfy Eye, then Video Wrapper. So it's what we're going to use. All links as usual will be down below. Don't need going around and search, just click and download. And uh, before I, we jumped and show you how to install and do other stuff, let me run very fast over our workflow to explain what's happening here. And you kind of have an understanding why we using some of those nodes. First, let me point that this workflow is based from man video workflow. It's right here. And you can, of course, download it. this if you're going inside the Comfy UI One Video Manager, going down to the example workflows and an example workflows. They have tons of different workflows here. And this is what we're going to use. So you can go straight, download it from here. Well, my workflow also will be available for you on the Patreon. Um, go check. You can download it my notes, download it my workflows. They're all free. But if you want to drop a couple bucks, I'll appreciate this. Okay, so let's do next. We have our workflow. I what I done generally, I just took this workflow, and if you notice, they have a lot of stuff going on here. Some of them specifically for that task, we don't need it. This is just example showing you what everything you can do it. And I just clean up, replace some node, be sure it's work properly. And if we look here, let's see what we're going on. First, we have it our input, and this is from the video um, helpful site suite. And uh, when you just download this workflow, it's pop up and says, hey, do you want to install those nodes? Just going inside the manager, going inside the install missing nodes, and it should install for you without problem. But one nodes you probably won't find, and this is specifically this node. And the reason is why this is my node I have wrote. It just very simplified the sizers. You can change this if you want. You can go and grab it like KG, this one nodes from KG nodes, replace it, same things. But I don't need upscale. This is this node does simple. It just going and says, hey, don't make image bigger than this size in the proportional. So it's a, it will support proportion, everything very simple, um, but work very well because simplicity is always good. And you know, if you want to install it again on Patreon or a link down below, you don't need any fancy pool, GitHub, anything. Just take a zip file, create directory image size nodes, and just drop this one file in it, Python there, done deal. It's all what you need to do. Very simple way to do it. And this is will have this node, which is you can input, you select constrain its meaning. None of the side can over exceed this side. Just uh, be sure it's there and we can use it. We can obviously create a little bit more fancy if you need it, but this is basic, basic for my needs. Okay, next we're loading video. In video right here, where's a frame, so you can see we have it 82, you can specify how much you want it. This video actually is longer. So 81 frames, it will take first frames and cut there. I did create, uh, I think up to Three th 300 frames I'll show you, but was some problems start happening when you have very long animations. So it's worth maybe just keep it on chunks this way. Next, you'll notice it's a feeding into deep depth anything. And this is just give it us um, control net type the depth, which is perfect, perfect for animations, what we're going to use. Then from other side, we feeding the image here. It's uh, applied to stylizations, what we want to use it. With same resizing, notice this is size we're getting and feeding inside our resize image. So we have it exactly the same size as we need it. And then it's a little bit stretching. And reason why I'm stretched because uh, on the stylizations, stretch won't be affecting as much, but you can also just use it crop or any other things that, that will work as well. Above here, all of these yellow colors. This is just when we preloaded model name, we're preloading van, and we're preloading beer. Um, point to this, links will be down below. I actually maybe just put it even not here, but you can download them from the links. Notice when you're going and download them directly, you'll notice 
um, they won't download like this. They will download Diffusion PyTorch models. So the names will be different. You want to actually or copy these names and reuse them because this is what will be expected. If you don't do this, it'll just when you run says, hey, I don't find this model, even you download it. Then you have a few options. You can click and select new model that you not yet rename it. Or if you just rename the same name, then it will be appear there. The same apply for this and apply for the VM because um, I think this is will be exactly the same name. So this is links will be down below for you download it. You can also going in the on a KG GitHub and if you scroll down below, you'll notice right here they have it links also to all of these uh, models and other components. So you can download it from here or from links down below. And also we will going to use another set. It's a video helper suite. Mostly you don't need install by itself. I say if you're going to Confui, click on a manager, you download it from here. But this is just a link so you know what is happening. And same, we have it very beautiful explanations what NOS can do. Very, very useful if you work with videos. Okay, next what we have from here, we're loading models. This is just a text encoder when you put it inside. And from other side, we have it, our image. This is preview image on the resizing. So I just want to be sure it does not stretch too badly. And you can see we feeding to van video in code. We also have a bunch of parameters here, what you're using. You can go and check online. They explain what each parameter are using, even they, what they call experimental and some other ones, or you can play around with them. Again, you can find them inside here. So the right here as well on the original workflow. So you can go use them there. Next, they're going to feed to our video sampler. The important for us, it is a steps 20. It's more than enough. If you want, it can pop up maybe to 22, 23, but usually 20 work fine. We have it our CFG, original four, I switched to five just for a little bit. Um, it's how close it will be to our prompt or not. Of course, we're using QNPC here. And next we out to our decoder and we have it our video combiner from image of where we're creating our output. Of course, you can specify what format you want it, what encoding and other stuff. And right here, we also specify like 24 frames. You can have it a different frame right here as well. How say it's a very simple way to do and go through this. Okay, so how to install? We already partially covered as we went through. It's very simple. You're just going download. Be sure you download all these models that we needed. You need actually um, your text encoder, UMT5XL. Download it from link above or download it from um, Kaiji from here. So you can download it from two places. Same things applied for base van 2. Remember you want to rename if you want to keep the same name. And as well, then 2.1, we our the latent space encoder. You can load it here. This one, dip anything to uh, you most likely already have on your computer. If you don't, you can just search for this or a link again down below. This is all what you needed to place them. You actually want to go um, look on instructions inside the vase, actually right here in lab base. If you scroll all the way down, you'll find also these models. Additional, if you want to download it, all these models, and right there you have it where to place. But it's for the model. It's what are you looking in simple way? Go to the place where you have it. Your model store and mine. It's another drives, and you put it in diffusion models. It's where you're putting your video one van. So you put it vase right here. You put it in your diffusion models uh, text you're putting in your clip or text encoders actually clip and another place you may have it it's in text encoders depend on your configurations in mine it was in text encoders and of course we have it our via and it's going in via right there so and it's where we're putting our van via so it is um, in some place, I already actually had those for the different projects and you may have it as well. And control net, you'll just place it inside the control net folders. I mean, it's a, this only things you may find a different when it's going in diffusion model. And I'll just give you a small tip. If your checkpoint or you have it inside, um, 
text and quarter like clip as here layer and other things it's most likely will go inside the checkpoint folder because it contains everything if it's already if it's split on a part like separate uh, the way it's separate text encoders then they will going most likely in diffusion models folder well in the end let me show you a couple different examples with run this video just to confirm you can see it's the same what i was doing look around and touch my glasses this is one this is when you don't have it properly resizing my another experiment you can see it's kind of squishy a little bit okay where are you like right here a little bit squishy we also have uh, different ones with the different formats. So it's kind of was playing around. One thing that I was point when you create longer, notice what's happening here. This is was on a longer model happening and you can see these effects. So I think also I may need to clean up with some frames, a little bit of work there. Then it will be work a little bit better, but generally you may have some of these problems. And of course, if you reduce, it's resolve the problem. So you have it nice and good animations afterwards. Well, let me know if you find this kind of interesting. I want to keep it this short and sweet and I'll give you more time to play around with this. Remember down below workflows, links to all the resources. Let me know what you think. See you next time. Bye.